All right, so I'm cracking out the whiteboard for this one. Hopefully this makes sense and hopefully there's not too much glare that you can you can see this. So the next thing we need to talk about are something called name servers. All a name server is, is who controls your DNS records. We talked in the last video about what DNS records are, but name servers control who owns the DNS records. So hopefully this will all make sense. No glare. Okay. So I buy all of my domains from namecheap.com. It doesn't matter. You can buy domains from GoDaddy. You can buy domains from wherever you want. I like Namecheap. I like their interface. I like their prices. That's why I use Namecheap. So I bought my domain, BriceJMatheson.com, from Namecheap. Now, once I own this domain, there's a setting under my domain settings where I can choose what my name servers are. And again, the name servers are just who owns the DNS records. So my name servers are ns1.do.com, ns2.do.com. This tells the computer that when I go to BriceJMatheson.com, I need to go to this server to look up where my DNS records are. Now, there's lots of name servers out there. There's thousands of name servers. You can use whatever name server you want. In fact, Namecheap has their own name servers, and so you don't even have to change them if you don't want. If you buy a domain name from Namecheap, you can use their own name servers. So if somebody asks where you want them to point their name servers, you can tell them to point it to Namecheap, and then you can control all the DNS entries from there. So again, I use DigitalOcean. That's what I like for my name servers. No big deal if you don't. Um, but once I point my domain name to these domain servers, I still now have to set my DNS entries. So I'll go to DigitalOcean and I will set up my A records and I'll also set up my MX records. My A record, whatever domain name that I choose will point to this IP address. My MX records will point to this. This DNS server over here is not connected because my name servers are not pointed here. If I change my domain name servers from DigitalOcean and I change them back to Namecheap's name servers, it will break this link and these name server or these DNS entries no longer work. And after a while, geez, and after a while, the DNS servers will update and now all of my DNS lookups are going to come to here. So now previously, my IP address is pointing to 68.66.whatever. Because I changed the name servers, it now will point to 49.16.4.13. So you need to be very careful about changing name servers because your DNS records could be wiped out if you change them. The nice thing though, is as long as you leave these entries here, you can swap name servers back and forth if we reconnect this one. Now all of a sudden, you know, after half an hour or so, our DNS records are gonna update and now everything will point to these addresses again. So again, you don't have to change the name servers if you don't want, you can use Namecheap's name servers, but just be aware that if a client asks you to change their name servers, then any of the entries that are listed here will be wiped out. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, Google has name servers, GoDaddy has name servers. You choose whatever company you want to use and typically it's free. Typically that's not a service that people charge for, but whatever name servers you use, you just need to make sure that you're aware that if you change them, these will no longer work. Now, if you're curious and you don't know where your name servers are pointed, or maybe you have a client that says, hey, I wanna use your hosting, I don't know what's up with my domain name. I don't know where anything's pointed. It's okay, it's really easy to find out. So if you come over here and you just type in who is lookup and click on any of them, any of these links are fine. Let's type in my name, BriceJMatheson.com and do search. It's gonna do a lookup on that, uh, on that domain name. So we can see here that my domain name is registered with Namecheap. That's who I bought the name from. And it shows when I bought the name and when it expires on. So this will expire next year if I don't renew it. And these are my name servers right now, ns1.digitalocean.com, ns2.digitalocean.com. Let's look up, uh, I don't know, let's look up like cnn.com and search. Okay, so we can see 
These are CNN's name servers. This is where they have all of their stuff hosted. So it looks like CNN is running on Amazon's web servers. That's totally fine. You can choose whatever uh, name server and web server that you wanna use. If you're having problems tracking down why DNS isn't working, why things aren't connecting to the IP addresses just how you want, use something called a Whois lookup, figure out where the name servers are hosted, and then if it's okay to change them, then you should be able to change them, update the DNS records, and you should be set.